Hoykland Dean left Hawhill a very frustrated side to take nothing from a game that deserved a point at least. An early try for Mike Hall put Dunbar in front and they added another in 18 minutes when Ewan Patrizio broke through the middle of the Lindeen defence. Standoff Robbie Coburn's conversion made it 12-0. Just before the half hour, Lindeen scrum half Rory Graham turned and broke from a line out and Finlay Turnbull's carry led to centre Matthew Marlin slicing through to the post for Owen Gray to convert. With the break imminent, a crucial call went against the visitors as a clear knock-on near halfway wasn't called and full-back Alex Gibb profited, rubbing salt in the wounds sliding in at the corner. Coburn added to the Royal Blues pain, adding the extras from the touchline to leave the, the Lindeen 19-7 behind at the interval. Two minutes after the turnaround, Hall crossed for his second touchdown. Thereafter, the Lindeen dominated territory and possession, spending prolonged spells in the home 22 in spite of a couple of solid driving line-outs and go-forward scrummaging, they just couldn't break through the tight home defence. Dunbar were rewarded for soaking up a barrel load of pressure when they applied a sucker punch going to the other end of the field on 68 minutes for replacement Daniel Philp to touch down. The Lindeen should have secured the kick-off, but when they failed to do so, Ryan Sutherland finished off and Coburn's conversion made it 36-7. Reward finally came for the Royal Blues as a Ryan Alley run into the 22 set up the field position for Marlin to once again glide through to the post with Gray converting. Four minutes later, prop Finlay Turnbull barreled his way over from the tap penalty and with time virtually up, frustrations then boiled over as handbags were thrown aside to allow a good old-fashioned punch-up to release the tension with the referee doing well to keep his cards in his pocket. With the final play of the game, Dunbar flanker Ewan McCrory touched down and Coburn's kick meant the final score at Hall Hill was Dunbar 43, Hoyclendine 19.